Hillbilly Orchids. I want to let y'all know that my channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It's your one-stop shop for anything you need A to Z orchids. Use the code HILLBILLY for a 12% discount. Thanks for dropping by, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Um, like I told you, my, my stuff's getting better. But, boy, I got... <laughs> Uh, it took me a little while this morning to get calmed down, but I got a little aggravated, actually. Um, I I had posted the thing about my, my contact situation with my eye doctor and see if anybody else had that happen. Well, um, uh, dear sweet uh, Patrick from Orchids in uh, Idaho messaged me. He said, hey, he said, uh, my dad had that, and... Um, he said, my dad did it, and, and it was fine. It worked great for him. And I'm like, okay. He's like, my mom did it, and she couldn't do it. And I was like, okay. I was like, I understand that. And I was like, you know, I, I, I um, you know, I get it. They say a lot of people can't handle monovision. A lot of people can't, and I understand that. But I did it six years ago, five, six years ago. I did it. Well, I, I looked it up. I was like, you know, I, I was like, on Google, I looked it up, and uh, <laughs> I'll put it up on the screen and show you guys too. Guess what? My doctor is a quack, I think, because my eyes were right, and she had me messed up for three days. Oh, I just, you know, because I'm feeling better, and you know, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna look this up and see, you know. And normally, I do that. I, like normally, you know, something goes on with me because of all my autoimmune stuff and things. I actually, I look things up. I, you know, um, I don't know if many of you know, but I used to be an LPN. So I have a pretty knowledgeable background in different areas of, of, you know, nursing and things like that. So I normally look into things. Well, I didn't on that. And I don't know why. I really don't. And now I wish I would have because she was wrong. I would, my eyes were 100% right the way they were. And I go back to see her Tuesday, tomorrow, which I don't know if this is going to air. This will probably air Wednesday, so it'll probably be the day after I go. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, I'm like pretty upset. But in monovision, you use your dominant eye to see distance. So, that my dominant eye is my right eye, and it sees distance, where my left eye is the bifocal eye. So, yeah, she was trying to mess me up and make my right one bifocal, when, and make my left one distance. Well, ain't no wonder my head was hurting and, oh, she put me through a lot. I can't believe it. I, I just, like, and I'm still kind of, like I said, I had to really calm down a lot this morning. Uh, I'm still pretty upset about it. Um, you know, that just goes to show you, honestly, you can't, you can't just go by what a doctor tells you. You just can't. PhD or not, I'm sorry. <laughs> And I mean, you know, I don't know what she's going to say. I'm like, you know, you've got this degree. Um, and I'm talking, this is what Google said. You know, but whatever. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I had an issue. And when I looked it up, you were wrong. You were wrong. Oh, be still my heart. I mean, like, you guys just don't know, like, how I just, like, stepped back. I was like, wait a minute. So anyway, since this is taking out the trash video, <laughs> that's what this is. This is talking trash and taking out the trash um, video uh, prompted by my dear sweet buddy, Michael McCarthy. This is hashtag Michael made me do it. As you can see in front of you, this is my collection of the wah, wah, wah. <laughs> this is the sad sax, the low man on the totem pole, the going south for the winter guys <laughs> right here in front of you. So, um, he said, he goes, I want to see you taking out the trash video. So guess what we're doing? We're going to take out the trash today. Um, let's start with this little guy. Now this, of course, as you can see, he's a little, um, uh, what, he's a white twinkle. A couple little white twinkle bulbs. Now, they've been like this for a little while. 
they don't, the roots aren't, no, the roots are bad. I'll say the roots aren't bad. No, no, actually some of those are good. It hasn't grown a new growth or anything yet, so I don't know what its issue is. I don't know why it's not taking off and doing anything, but <clears throat> why am I worried about two little bulbs when I have this mount? This mount is from the same bunch, and it's not doing that great either, really, for Twinkle. Um, but this one does have, uh, this is new, this one's new here, and uh, I think this one back here is new. So, I've got a backup, so you know what, trash, <laughs> trash number one, going to the garbage bin. No sense in keeping it around, you know, it's not, it's just been hanging out, taking up space. All right, trash bin number two, sadly. Um, this was a little free gift from uh, Yoshi, Orchids by the Lake. This is uh, Catlea Bowringagana, Bo Bo crossed with sibling. Um, this thing has never done good for me, ever. As you can see, it's getting very dehydrated on what is actually left. This one's actually dead. Um, its roots are crappy crud. They're gone. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing left to that. That plant does not have enough energy to continue. So, bye bye. Sorry, little guy. Bye bye. Taking out the trash. All right. Now this one's a sad one. I can't remember. I think. I think Justin. I think this is one. Uh, Justin got me. It was a bag baby. Sadly, sadly, this is a Ludomaniana cerulea. Cross with sibling, white with blue lip uh, species. Species? Is that what it doesn't say? Yeah, species. It's an E. It looks weird. Um, this plant, I don't know. This plant, it did okay when I first got it. Uh, and as you can see, the, the sleet, yeah, it was gone already. This one went off. But the thing of this one is, is that the viable eye did nothing. And won't do anything. So I don't. I don't know whether to keep trying. I, I don't. I really don't. I don't know. I don't. There's not much point. It's really, really, really set back. Um, its roots are. Yeah, its roots are crap. Let's see. I mean, there's not much point. This bulb's dead. Yeah, the roots are not good. Yeah, this plant just would not do another viable eye. This plant has sat like this for a long time. I dated it 5-1 uh, of 22 was when this was sent to me. And it just went downhill. None of these roots are good. Not none of them. So, I say trash. I hate to do it, but trash. Trash, trash, trash side but true so we're taking out the trash spring cleaning <laughs> we're going early spring cleaning all right this one here this is this was sent to me um from bobby jeffries sadly um it was a big huge um maxillary tenifolia that he had mounted I have no idea what went wrong with this plant, but it started rotting and it just, I mean, just slowly one by one by one by one took every plant and I kept trying to stop it and then I took it off of the mount and tried to save it and this is what I've been getting. This is how it's just been going. It just rots clear up and um, yeah, so bye bye Sorry. Maxillaria. All right, this one. Um, this one here. Um, this was no big deal, uh, really. Um, Spencer sent me this one. It was a bulb she had that didn't want to. Um, didn't want to. do anything and it did finally really really late it put up two small little growths and uh, they really didn't do anything this year 
and they're actually they're shriveled up so it's not coming back so um, she's sent it to me just trying to see if um, I could save it but sorry <laughs> bye bye See, jumping into plants always makes you quit thinking about the bad stuff. All right, now this bowl here is, um, it's actually a couple of things. Um, sometimes when I'm repotting a plant, you'll see me take off, um, like, back bulbs. And I, I always hate to throw them out. Um, I'm just, that's a personal thing of my own. That uh, I try, try, try to save what I can. Um, you know, it might take hold and so it'd be a nice plant for you know give somebody else that you know you never know so um i threw them in a bowl of moss here and um there's a piece in here that is a uh, part of that uh, persiviliana cross with sibling tip bow number three um it's dead it's the piece over here that's completely dead so that one's trash I will uh, reuse the stick after um, sterilizing it. So, but yep, yeah, that's another one for the trash. Now this one here, this was um, a piece off of uh, RLC Highling Mango. That was off of the back, actually two pieces in there so I don't even know what that is that's, that's awful I must have forgot to tag it so this one it was over here near this piece um, that wasn't that long ago so I'm honestly I'm not going to trash this I'm just going to reset it in the moss and uh, see if anything pops on it because three three bulbs should have enough viable um, energy to start something up if there's a viable eye so that one that one's a keeper no trashy for you today like I said that one might be a uh, I might just put it in a pot of its own actually that one might be a uh, nice division for somebody else and this one now that I can't remember what it is I mean it's not it's ugly <laughs> It's very ugly. Um, it came from somebody that uses Leca. I'll have to think about that. Um, I don't. I don't honestly remember what this is. So this is going to be a real. I'm keeping this. Um, it's got uh, four bulbs. Uh, it's a keeper. I'm, I want to see what this is now. <laughs> so yep, I'm going to re redo this one up. Actually, I better. Oh, that's that stick for the other one. So these guys, these two are keepers. They're not going anywhere. <clears throat> so they ain't completely taken out the trash. Now this little bowl here is the same same scenario idea. This is, um, yeah, see this one is, it's dead. It's not coming back. This was uh, Potnara, Newberry, Apricot, Cross with Lynn and Allen. So sadly it is trash. Trash, trash, trash. Now, this one, it's a single bulb. On occasion, if you've got a healthy plant, this will this will do something. So, I'm not going to throw it away because another one that I honestly should have labeled and I didn't. So, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> but, there you go. So, and of course, I've got a little, um, this little thing is starting little little bitty babies little bit babies on the um, so it stays and continues to grow alright so there's three we're keeping uh, this little guy this is a uh, division of golden tang um, it's toast it's toast. See, this is dead. 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 This is a new growth. This is a new growth. But they're not putting out any roots. And it's not got anything left back here. And these do not 
if these don't put out roots, they're not going to not, they're not going to do anything. So I really, really doubt they're good even. So trash, trash, trash. Not keeping it around. All right, now this old guy here. Now, sadly, this is Den Visa Peach. And this one, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't honestly know what went wrong. I do have another uh, pink one, a pink dendrobium. So, I'm not too sad to see this one go. I mean, yes, it was a purchase and I wish it would be okay. But this little cane is mushy. The bottom of this cane is mushy. The bottom of this cane is mushy all the way up. I mean, can you see just the mush? Um, the only cane that is good is this one. You see the leaves dying. Um, that cane's mushy. So, three canes here are good. I mean, it just keeps dwindling away. This will be the second time that I've ripped mushy canes off of it. So why or do I keep trying you know uh, the roots are not great on it it's not uh, I just recently put it into this smaller pot because I you know you know the deal with dendrobiums they like to feel snug and secure so um, you know I'm iffy about it what do you guys think let me know in the comments you think I should uh, dissect it and I mean, they're ugly, they're, they're leafless canes, but they can put out, if they've got energy and they want to grow, they'll put out new growth and just start and be a good again. So, let me know what your opinion is on that one. You think I should keep it or trash it? Now, this one, sadly, is another. It just bloomed. This was the uh, Oncidium Volcano Midnight Volcano Queen. This one just keeps doing the same thing. Uh, of course, you see this bulb here is rottening, but it keeps, this plant keeps failing. It keeps failing. You can see how, um, how horrible the bulbs are. This one's mushy at the base. It looks like this one's mushy at the base. That one behind there is mush and gone. So, it, it puts up new growth, and it does have a new growth right here, but it's always speckled and looks bad. It always just looks like it's bug rid ridden and eaten on but um i don't know I, I don't know if it's um i do have a smaller division of this one that came off of this one that is doing a little bit better than this one so i'm thinking instead of wasting my time with this one that keeps failing uh and like i said it's definitely rottening and um it's a rottening or absorbing but it's, it keeps doing this. So I, I think it might be some kind of rot. Um, but see, like I said, there, there's a brand new small little growth coming on this one. Because this bulb here is good that just flowered. So I don't know. You, you guys let me know your opinion on those two. What do you think I should do? Trash them or try to save them? So um, there you go. I trashed quite a bit. Uh, there's your, there's your taking out the trash video, Michael. <laughs> so, hashtag Michael made me do it. Now, that's, hashtag Michael made me do it. I guess it would be, um, you could use it in this instance. It was really made for buying orchids, for getting certain plants and stuff, buying them, buying more. That was what uh, hashtag Michael made me do it came up from. But, uh, yeah, so... But, there you go, y'all. There's my taking out the trash video. So, now I'm going to dump all the negative feelings and get happy in my gray space. Because so much is going on in here. And, with all this going on and all this new, beautiful, brand new blooms I'm getting. Who can be sad? <laughs> so, with that said, I appreciate all you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me. And, bye for now, y'all. Till we meet again.